Hello everyone. Welcome back. Today, we're tackling a question many Sonos users have, how to downgrade from Sonos S2 to S1. Maybe you have older Sonos speakers that aren't compatible with S2. Or perhaps you prefer the features of the S1 app. Whatever your reason, this video will guide you through the process step by step. It's important to note that downgrading isn't officially supported by Sonos anymore. This means you might encounter unexpected issues, and future updates could disrupt your setup. Proceed with caution. Let's dive in. First, understand the limitations. Downgrading means your system will lose compatibility with newer features and services exclusive to S2. Make sure this is a compromise you're willing to make. Before you begin, factory reset all your Sonos speakers. This is crucial for a clean downgrade. To factory reset, unplug the speaker. Then, while holding down the join button, usually on the back or bottom, plug the speaker back in. Continue holding the button until the light flashes amber. This process might vary slightly depending on your specific Sonos model. Repeat this for every speaker in your system. Next, download the Sonos S1 controller app. You can find it on the App Store for your iOS or Android device. Do not attempt to use the S2 app for this process. Once installed, open the S1 app. The app will guide you through setting up a new Sonos system. Follow the instructions to connect each of your factory reset speakers to the S1 app. This process involves pressing buttons on your speakers when prompted by the app. Make sure your phone or tablet is connected to the same Wi-Fi network as your speakers. Be patient, as this can take some time. The app might need to update the firmware on your older speakers to be compatible with S1. After all your speakers are connected and configured in the S1 app, your system should be successfully downgraded. Remember, this process is not officially supported. You might need to troubleshoot connection issues or other problems. Sonos' support might not be able to fully assist you with S1 setups anymore. You've now successfully downgraded your Sonos system to S1. Keep in mind the limitations of using an older system, but hopefully, this has allowed you to continue using your older Sonos devices. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider liking and subscribing. Your support helps us create more helpful content like this. Leave a comment below if you have any questions or if you encountered any challenges during the downgrading process. We appreciate your feedback.